So today we got some uh, Leonorn mask support because we saw that card come out this week. But there's also some other support that's pretty, pretty busted. I think it's pretty good. So let's kind of start off with that. So first off, we have some V and P PRs. Uh, these are the shop challenge ones. Uh, the left one is for Angel Feather, and this one is th these are basically you know the grade two support kind of thing that they're releasing for every single clan. But yeah, the left one's for Angel Feather. This one is when it's boosted Soul Blast one, choose a card from your damage zone and put it into your hand. If you put a card, put the top card of your deck into your damage face down. And the second one is just the, the normal uh, auto hand effect at the beginning of your ride phase. Your Vanguard's grade one or less. You know, discard it, look at top five for uh, grade two or less and put it in your hand. So basically, yeah, that's the effect. Just, just kind of reminding you. But the second one's for DI. And we all know that DI cards are like ridiculous, right? They're, they're pretty broken, usually. So this one is on boost once per turn. Um, Choose Soul Blast 1, choose one of your units, search your deck and drop for up to a total of three cards with the same card name as that unit and put them into your soul. And if you search a deck, shuffle your deck. I think that's pretty good. This doesn't require any CB, anything that can... It's like an Emblem Master without the, uh, without the Counter Blast cost. And you can kind of like, you, you ride it and then you can decide, do I want to put down the card or not, right? Sure, it does require one soul, but, you know, getting three copies of whatever you want is really cool. The only weakness that you need is that you need to boost it. But, uh, you know, people play a bunch of, like, cards down anyway, right? I think, you know, like, Foo's already, so, you know, put it down, um, start soul charging, and, yeah, I think, uh, I think... I think it's a big game changer for DI, in premium at least. V, I don't know. V's, like, still, like, meh. I think in premium, I think this card's already pretty good. This one's already... Uh, neat, like, insane. Maybe insane. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Uh, so far, DI, I think, got the best one, right? Pretty crazy. Uh, Leonor Revert, I mean, Mask. Alright, Leonor Mask. So, there's actually Servitude of Funeral Procession, Leonor Mask. This was already revealed on stream, and people already talked about it, but we'll kind of recap it, because it's only been Monday, yeah? So, can't this unit can only be ridden from a grade 3 of Leonor in its car name. It's pretty much the same as everything. And it's got the kind of the mask effect that you've been seeing quite a lot. So uh, act on the Vanguard Circle once per turn. Remove a card of Leonor and its different card name from this unit, uh, from this unit from your hand, soul, or drop. Right. So it's usually just the OG Leonor or the T Leonor, which, whichever one you want to play. Um, then this effect is choose a grade one or less card from your drop. Call it to the rearguard circle. Choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. That reminds me of the uh, of all the Ashley Reverse. Yeah. And then the last effect is on the Vanguard Circle auto effect. When this unit attacks, choose up to three of your back row stand units with boost and boost this unit. If you boosted three or more units at the end of that battle, counter blast one, choose two of your rearguards and stand them. So overall, it's like, uh, you know, you get five attacks. That's basically the gist of it. In terms of how good it is, I'm not 100% sure. That, that, that's the reality. You miss out on a triple drive, which is what Leonor used to be. But now you get five attacks. At least, which is um, which is good. Now I know some people have been mentioning there's like different ways to get more than five attacks, but they do require you to use a lot more cards. So in terms of like the combo pulling that off, it does seem um pretty janky to be honest. But base five attacks is already still not bad. You know you have your persona ride, so that's already plus 10k to the front row, and just double dipping that usually is a recipe for success. Um, just depends on how powerful you can make those cards. I know people have been talking you can. Run like some of the dragons that get plus 10k, so you get like 33. Uh, I think it's just to be seen. I think it's just to be seen, but you know, five attacks is still good. Then again, Stokia does do a bunch of attacks anyway, so I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to we'll, we'll have to see more, right? I think we'll have to see more and like probably just test it a bit more and see how good it is. Uh, but looking at some of the other cards, here is the secret rare that we're getting. So we get the nice, uh, you know, you get the aura there as well. It's pretty cool. And then you do, they did reveal a support card here. This is Spouting Intimacy Amelia. So can't during a turn, if your Vanguard is uh, leaned on masks, this unit gets power plus 5,000 and the red text, auto rearguard circle at the end of your battle that your Vanguard attack, counter blast, uh, no, soul blast one and retire this unit. Uh, then you counter charge one. So I actually think this is not bad. You don't require any power to just get a plus 5k and become a 13k booster. And then you do have the option to just retire it and counter charge. 
which can come in handy. Your Leonon does cost one, but it does have other other cards in the deck that do cost one. I think like Deanta cost one as well. And, um, you know, depending on what you run will cost one. So you might use actually use quite a bit of uh, Counter Blast. So this Counter Charge would be really good. But otherwise, just having a straight up plus 13, you know, 13 booster is already uh, pretty nice, right? Or, or a 13 attacker, right? Or a 13 attacker. You just, you just have to have Leonon Masks and you're good to go. And then we also have this, the generic Stoikea card. So this is Love Binding Maiden Margaret. So auto when this card is discarded from hand during a ride phase, Soul Blast 1 and put this card on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. So, you know, pretty similar to the other ones we have there. The second effect though is auto when this unit is placed on the Regard Circle, if you Persona Road this turn, Counter Blast 1 and your opponent cannot intercept until the end of turn. All of your opponent's uh, front row regards cannot stand during the next stand phase. So you can technically call this out via uh, Leonorn Masks, and you know, it'll still get the effect. It doesn't have a restriction where to call it from hand. However, it does require you to counter blast one. And this is where the interesting part of this effect comes in. This is actually very, very good against certain matchups. I know, you know, against Ava be pretty good when they can't intercept, so they're obscates. Um, because that's where they get a lot of their guard value from. And then your opponent's front row can't stand. So technically, you know, they're just out of commission the next turn, which is really, really good, right? They can't intercept with them. They can't really get rid of them. So, you know, they're kind of just going to be stuck there. They, they, you have to, like, clove them. Um, so that's kind of nice for one counter blast. But do they really have to play over them, right? Because remember, a lot of people say, you know, this is similar to, like, yeah, the Mega Clone stuff. This doesn't actually res restrict your opponent from moving that rearguard circle. So in a way, then kind of do the, uh, the shuffle where, you know, they just move it to the back and then play more cards down. And then those attack, and then if you continuously kind of recycle Margaret, then sure, they can't ex intercept with those two cards, but they should be able to just push up the back row cards, and then, um, yeah, they can attack with those. It only restricts your front row from standing, uh, their front row from standing. Yeah, they can kind of do that shuffle. Of course, the power lines wouldn't be as good, because, uh, you, you know, if you're doing that, you're not really boosting, unless you then play over those cards. But bear in mind, this Counter Blast 1 is not plusing for you as well, right? Remember, like, when we talk about costs, Counter Blast 1 usually requires you to gain some sort of advantage, or, you know, you minus your opponent, which is like a minus 1 for them, which equates to 1. This one kind of isn't. It's like a... It's like a minus... I don't know, like a 0 0.5, something like that? So, sure, they, they don't actually lose the cards. They can't use them for a turn, but it only delays a turn, so... Uh, in a way, this is a kind of interesting card. I think it'll be a bit of a meta call whether people run it. However, right, a lot of this game does come down to balancing counter blasts. And although Stoikea does have a lot of ways to counter charge, and we just saw one today from all the cards revealed, uh, it might not mean it's uh, it's good enough, right? It might actually not mean it's good enough. Because, you know, one, it's just the space. Does it fit in the space? Is a meta call for it? But two is, you know, it's still a counter blast one. It's still a counter blast one, all right. And uh, the other thing is like Leonon Masters require counter blast as well. If it only required a soul blast, then you know the the costs kind of balance a bit better. But at this rate, it doesn't. So uh, this is kind of up in the air for me. Out of all the generics that gen generic triple R's that we've gotten so far, uh, this is not. This is like the least best. I think like Brand Gate is just absolutely broken. So yeah, this one is like kind of like 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 a bit mid, just a bit mid. All right, let me know what you guys think, though. I might be wrong, and, you know, through testing, we might find out that I'm wrong, right? That's that's just kind of it. And then lastly, they did reveal some of the lyrical stuff. So this is all coming out. Uh, well, these are all getting some support, new dresses, new arts, right? And they're going to reveal some of the effects and the support soon. So, you know, Willista's getting the first treatment next Tuesday. You're going to see this. And then Clarissa is the uh, the week. Uh, is it the week after? Fourth, fourth or fourth? I don't think it is, right? That, that's coming out later, all right? Um... And then the 11th will be, well, 6th will be Alestiel, and then 11th will be uh, Felty Rosa, and then the last one is going to be the, uh, oh, I forgot how to say it again. Brunero. Lamau. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much it. This will be released in Festival Booster. So, um, yeah, pretty much at the end of the month of April, right? So pretty cool. But with that said, that is it for today's news. Um... Pretty much just the generics. The generic is the important card, but some of the bonkers promos are really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think, think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you all uh, tomorrow. All right? Bye.